I've been trialing a secret product from The Ordinary and I can finally tell you all about it. You're going to start to see this everywhere and for good reason. It is The Ordinary's GF 15% solution, which for the first time is incorporating growth factors at an affordable price. This is the GF 15% solution. Now this little magic bottle is gonna stop us looking old. So expect this to sell out on day one and ahead of the launch in just seven days time I thought I'd share with you how to use this in order to get maximum Botox in a bottle anti-aging results. Did you know that scientists have figured out a way to create skincare ingredients from plants that mimic the natural growth factors in our skin? It sounds like a breakthrough, right? Imagine applying a serum that could literally signal your skin to regenerate itself, smooth wrinkles, and bring back elasticity without retinol, peptides, or invasive procedures. Well, that's exactly what the ordinary GF 15% solution claims to do. This serum contains biomimetic growth factors, EGF, IGF, and TGF, designed to transform aging skin at the cellular level. But here's the million dollar question, can these growth factors actually get deep enough into your skin to work? Or are they just sitting on the surface doing absolutely nothing? In this video, we're breaking down the real chemistry behind the serum, how growth factors function in the body, whether they can truly penetrate the skin, and what key ingredients might be missing from this formulation. By the end, You'll know if this is a game-changing anti-aging serum or just another overhyped product with a scientific sounding name. Before we talk about whether the serum works, let's get into how growth factors function in our skin. Growth factors are proteins that act as chemical messengers, telling cells to regenerate, repair, and build more collagen and elastin. Your body naturally produces them, but as you age, their levels decline dramatically, which is one of the reasons skin loses firmness and starts forming wrinkles. Medical researchers have used growth factors for decades in wound healing, burn treatments, and regenerative medicine. Some high-end skincare brands have incorporated human-derived or synthetic growth factors into their formulas, and now The Ordinary has entered the game with a plant-based alternative. Sounds promising, right? But here's where things get tricky. Growth factors are large protein molecules, and the skin barrier is extremely selective about what it lets through. The big question is, can these lab-made growth factors actually get deep enough into the skin to make a difference? To understand whether the serum works, we need to talk about molecular size. The outermost layer of your skin, the stratum corneum, is made of dead skin cells and lipids that act as a barrier against large molecules, bacteria, and environmental toxins. For a skincare ingredient to penetrate beyond the surface, its molecular weight needs to be below 500 Daltons, a principle called the 500 Dalton Rule. Most active ingredients in skincare, like retinol, about 300 Daltons, vitamin C, about 176 Daltons, and niacinamide, about 122 Daltons, easily pass through. But here's the issue. Growth factors like EGF, IGF, and TGF are huge molecules, typically over 6,000 Daltons. That's 12 times larger than what the skin barrier allows. Without a proper delivery system, they can't pass through the epidermis and reach the dermis, where collagen production happens. This is why medical professionals use microneedling or injections to apply growth factors, because simply applying them to the surface of the skin isn't enough. So, does the Ordinary's GF 15% solution have a delivery system that solves this problem? Based on its formulation, no. There's no nanotechnology, lithosomal encapsulation, or penetration enhancers included, which means these growth factors are likely just sitting on the skin's surface. If you love this kind of deep dive skincare science, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I break down skincare formulations so you don't waste your money on products that don't deliver. Now, let's get back to the breakdown. What's inside and what's missing? Besides the growth factors, let's look at what's actually in the serum. It contains glycerin and butylene glycol, which are humectants. These are great for hydration. They pull water into the skin, making it look temporarily plumper and smoother. However, this effect is short-term and doesn't contribute to long-term wrinkle reduction or firmness. Then, we have sclerodium gum, a polysaccharide that thickens the formula and gives it a nice gel-like texture. 
It helps with moisture retention, but it's not an active anti-aging ingredient. So, what's missing? One, no penetration enhancers. Since growth factors are too large to enter the skin, the formula would need liposomes, fatty acids, or peptides that can act as carriers. Without them, these proteins likely won't reach the deeper layers where they need to work. Two, no retinoids or peptides. Retinoids like retinol or retinaldehyde are the gold standard for increasing collagen production, but they aren't included. Peptides like matrixyl can also boost collagen, but this formula doesn't have them either. 3. No strong antioxidants. Ingredients like vitamin C or resveratrol protect against free radicals that cause wrinkles and sagging. Growth factors work better in combination with antioxidants, but none are present here. 4. No occlusives for barrier repair. If the goal is long-term skin health, ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids would be important for strengthening the skin barrier. These are missing from the formula. So while this serum hydrates and softens the skin, it doesn't have the ingredients needed for long-term anti-aging effects. So, is the ordinary GF15% solution a breakthrough in anti-aging skincare? Not exactly. What it does, provides hydration that temporarily plumps the skin. Smooth skin texture at the surface could help with post micro recovery. What it doesn't do, penetrate deep enough to stimulate real collagen production. Firm the skin in a lasting way, provides strong anti-aging effects on its own. If you're expecting real wrinkle reduction and skin tightening, this serum alone won't be enough. To actually improve collagen and elasticity, you'd need retinoids, peptides, and a good sunscreen. What do you think? Have you tried Growth Factor Skincare before? Let me know in the comments. And if you want more science-backed skincare content, subscribe. I break down products so you don't have to. See you in the next video.